The doctor will see you. It's uh, 35 minutes past the hour. Dr. Lou is uh, with us for his weekly visit. Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, the doctor will see you now. Hello, Dr. Lou. Mark May, you ain't got nothing on me, and it's all right, it's all right. Mark May, you know that I'm your daddy, and it's all right, it's all right. Say it with me, guys. Boom. Here comes the boom. Ready or not, here comes Dr. Lou from the South Bend. Boom. boom. Here comes the boom. Here comes. Ready or not, here comes triple booms from my mouth. Boom. boom. Here comes the boom. boom. Ready or not, here comes Dr. Lou from the South Bend. Boom. boom. Here comes the boom. boom. Ready or not, here come triple booms from my mouth. Wow, Dr. Hey, Lou, little welcome. P, little P.O.D. action there. Yeah, there. I heard that. <laughs> Hello, Slick Rick and the Czar Hat Trick. Guys, that's a little <laughs> triple triple boom P.O.D. action to get us started on another college football Friday. I tell you guys, I, I missed you last week, and I miss old... Miss old Bubba down there just, just playing all that kinds of tennis doing that kind of thing. But yeah. guys, um, I absolutely hate this, but can you guys believe this weekend marks the official halfway point of the season? Did you know yeah, that? Guy? That's what I was telling him. I can't I can't be worrying about baseball uh, because of because when we got we're we're halfway through a football season. It's it's pretty depressing to know that there are only six more weeks on the college football season. But let's look on the bright side. Okay. At least at that point we will get nine straight months of sports czars without football to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, that should then. be that should be entertaining. And, <laughs> hey, and guys, guys, speaking of entertaining, how about Charlie Weiss's khakis? Uh, hey. <laughs> Those threads amuse me each week. I stand amazed by their power and and the grace <laughs> the grace by which they support the weight of Wichita. But but guys, I actually uh, because I'm interested in this, I I wanted to catch up with Charlie's Charlie's khakis this past week. <laughs> to find out more about them and, and to see how they were holding up this season. Okay. Guys, guys, the pair of duckheads told me, and I quote, Lou, it's been, a, it's been tough holding strong since Vince Young has entered the picture, but we've managed to survive the transition. They told me this. They said, however, one more high heat dry cycle and we're toast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness Lou. gracious, whatever. Yeah, I tried this Dr. morning. Dr. One Dr. more high heat dry cycle. Then you just lose the threads and <laughs> drop all the fat flaps down. Okay, I tried. It's a I boom. like a champion. Play like a champion. Boom. <laughs> all right, guys. Boom. <laughs> boom. That was like more like a boo. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> you had me. I pictured you interviewing a pair of khakis, and then it kind of—I just lost it. Yeah, you must. You must have. Must have been watching TV above my head or something. Yeah, right. There we go. <laughs> it's, and and guys, speaking of toast, how about how about the verdict that landed on the infamous BCS Crystal Massacre this past week? I, I think most folks are familiar with the disturbing story from this past year's BCS Championship post-game celebration where an Alabama fan decided to indecently expose himself in the middle of a New oh, Orleans oh, Crystal yeah. restaurant. Yeah, oh, yeah. It was pretty disturbing. Well, this past week, 33-year-old O'Brien Downing was charged with obscenity and sentenced to two years in a New Orleans prison for his actions, guys. Really? And, and guys, yeah. I, I went I went and I, – did you hear about this? a true story. He, he was sentenced to two years in prison, and uh, I went and caught up with Downing to get his thoughts on the ruling, and he said that he had no comment. But he did mention trying to get a sponsorship from Lipton or Red Diamond. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, man. That's good. I, I had to really tiptoe around that one, guys. Well, if he's going to prison for two years, uh, he won't be. He won't be the first one to come up with those ideas. <laughs> no. <laughs> guys, All did right. you hear about this? Did you hear about this school board member in New Hampshire who is trying to garner support for his outlandish? No football and yes, school I did stance. that story yesterday, Doc. Yeah, the new answer, the <laughs> Doc, new ha- the new answer doctor uh, believes the violence of football is causing some issues among men in their 80s and 90s. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, right. It's comical, I, and and honestly, I can't fathom how any half wit would try and ban football from schools. However, guys, I, I wanted to report to you this anti-football stance is gaining a lot of support.
support all across the I country. I know. I did warned you, everybody about that. Did you hear that. about this? Yeah. It's gaining a lot of a lot of support. John from Arkansas, Joker from Kentucky, and Gene from Auburn all agree <laughs> that they, they like the idea of no football, at least for this season, until they can gather more data. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> no, Boom. Play no, like a champion. No football. No football. <laughs> killing us. It's killing us. It comes up. Boom. Here comes the boom. Ready or not, triple boom's coming straight from my mouth. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of data, there's plenty out there to support the fact that the Arkansas Razorbacks are a top ten football team, guys. Yeah. Really? Oh, absolutely. No, that wasn't. That's not true. Yeah. Okay, guys. In all seriousness, they've they've got some major issues. Yeah. Up there oh, and what do they need to and do? They lost. They lost this past. Their losses. This past weekend, 58-10 to 10 down to Texas A&M. Have fans wondering what the heck is going on in hog country. Oh, sure. But I got a chance to go down to the locker room after the game uh -oh. uh, to uh, hear Coach Smith address the team. And he told them that it was time to pick it up and show some resilience. Uh, mm -hmm. Just like former Arkansas greats, Bear Bryant, Mark Ingram, Sean Alexander, and Jay Barker. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, when he got that wrong, oh, man, I'm not getting anything this yeah. morning from well, you. Guys. I'm giving a time. Maybe I need, I'm maybe giving I, laugh anymore. I, like I, need to, I need to pipe in some bubble laughs. Yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm carrying the whole load. I, 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 I'm, universe, ho I'm horse over here. Universe, universe. You'll do that. Yeah, because you were screaming in a Little League right, game I last night. I know where you are. <laughs> you, you were screaming last night trying to help kids who were in third grade. Sure. And, guys, guys, we got a major problem there. I think he still thinks it's the University of Alabama. Uh, and speaking of major problems, how about the problems President Obama is facing uh, this week after getting an old school honey whipping from Governor Romney? I know. How that, funny. And, and the, uh, how funny. There you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, Bubba. That is pretty funny. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Wednesday night's whipping looks, looked about like every Saturday afternoon at Bryant Denny, where opponents are normally defeated by the end of the first quarter. It was just a, yeah, he put a whipping on there. But here's the thing the lopsided victory didn't surprise me. But what did surprise me is the fact that they allowed Les Miles to manage the clock at the debate. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. That's How good. funny. Oh, oh, How like funny. You guys, good. Gonna like it. you guys have two minutes. That's and, good. And 20 <laughs> minutes later. I've, I've never seen someone ignore their elders like those two. Oh, they act like he wasn't even there. Oh, my God. Seriously. And you'd hear him in the background going, Mr. President. I don't know what happened there. That was yeah, I don't nice. either. And guys, speaking of Les Miles, the, the LSU Bingo Tigers have a big time game coming up against the Florida Gators that's this a big weekend one. down at the Swamp, and I believe they could use a little pep talking. Yes, that's right, guys. Oh. Since since it's election season, I wanted to take a page out of our president's book and steal an excerpt from his debate, uh, his debate speech the other night, guys. So I want to. Just how you're going to motivate them. That's right. I think this inspiring and, and informative message from President Obama is just what the doctor ordered to get the uh, get the Tigers ready to beat the Gators. So, so here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and address the LSU Tigers and and again I'm quoting Obama verbatim from Wednesday night. Okay. So please mm -hmm. do please understand. Right. I'm not. He's a very I'm not, inspirational speaker. I'm not claiming any credit for this. Tigers, <laughs> I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so. Because uh, some people out there in our nation <laughs> don't have don't have maps, and uh, I, and I believe that our education, like such as in South Africa <laughs> and Boom. the and the Iraq, everywhere like such as, <laughs> and, and I believe they should uh, our education over here. In the U.S. <laughs> should help the U.S. or should help South Africa. You guys still following the president? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Still I got it. I'm all over it. Should help South Africa and uh. should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future for us. <laughs> <laughs> boom! Boom, boom, boom. I, do I need to add 14 more booms to, to oh, take yeah. us to break? Because that's all I got today. <laughs> That just sounded hauntingly familiar. Yeah. You know, sure, it was the president? Yeah, it was the president. It was when he was talking to uh, A.C. Slater from Saved by the Bell. Do y'all remember that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. We'll talk picks next. Dr. Lou's with us.
More of the Rick and Bubba show continues after the break. That U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have that. And uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Or, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries. There was uh, Miss Teen South Carolina, one of the greatest audio clips of all time. Uh, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. As we make our way back, and I know, Dr. Lee, one of your favorites, uh, yesterday we did get a number of emails uh, missing uh, Dickie Nadmeyer calling the program yesterday, breaking down the presidential debate. That is video of the day today by your request at rickandbubba.com. So thanks to Helms and Adler for, for getting that up there. And uh, if you missed it or just want to go back and revisit it, it is video of the day there at rickandbubba.com. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go, wait, 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 go ahead, Doc. What? Guys, we got a lot of good games coming up this, I know, this I know. weekend. But first off, I just want I just want to give a little birthday shout-out to the a 13-year-old girl, she's like sister to me, her name's Ashlyn Serrance. I just want to tell her, happy birthday, Ashlyn, because you deserve it, and you deserve a great birthday today. So yeah, I just well, wanted, happy birthday. And I wanted to say happy birthday to you, Rick, early this week, and happy birthday to me tomorrow. Oh, oh. Wow. That's well, right. Do something. Wow. Dr. Lou, a little birthday so shout-out for myself. How yes, about that? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's speaking for Bubba? Greg. That'd be great. Oh, good, perfect. But guys, we do we do have a pretty good amount of games to pick on on the list here. We let's let's start out with a little military battle. We got the Navy and the Air Force. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pick uh, Navy on this one, guys, just because because uh, I like the Navy better than the Air Force. I guess I don't uh, know. I, I, don't I, know. I will go with Air Force. I think they run the option better than Navy does. Odd Air Force, me too. I'm Bubba, by the way. Boy, here's a tough. Hey, Bubba. One. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to say those little things like, oh, too much Falcons. Yeah. Too much Falcons. <laughs> Not enough. What too, is the midshipman? Arkansas-Auburn, this is a tough one because everybody keeps waiting on Arkansas to at least remotely resemble <laughs> the team. I understand losing your coach and, and the guy who's there now – is going through bankruptcy and clearly has mental challenges. But, I mean, but, but, <laughs> but, 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 it, but it seems like to me that there should still be a, enough yeah. fragment of the team. I know. You, Not, would, you would think. Yeah, you know, see, it shows you, you know, great, great. I know one of your favorites, Dr. Lou Vince Lombardi. He said, you know, winning is contagious, but unfortunately so is losing. Absolutely. Guys, I just, I honestly, I just don't, I don't <laughs> see, I do not see the Arkansas <laughs> Razorbacks stepping up this weekend <laughs> against the Auburn Tigers. But I, but I, 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 will, I will say, I will say that the, uh, I, oh. I anticipate that the, I anticipate that the guys are going to come out, they're going to play, they're just going to be going to look, Mark May, I've been there, I've been there, I coach there, I coach there, I've been there, and this is going to be a fair build, Arkansas. That's so good. And the guys are going to. Gonna, I'm just telling you, the, the Hawks are going to win, you you stupid dummy head. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're picking Arkansas. Let, 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 me, let me say I'm picking Auburn because Bubba Wood. Yeah, let, let, yeah. Me, let me say this. <laughs> here, here to me is the problem in, in the Auburn world, which you know is, is where I, I am, is number one, Auburn seems to lay an egg on every 11 o'clock game. They never play well early in the morning on, on Saturday, and of course, the way we keep having to keep people off the team, maybe there's a reason for that. But, 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 <laughs> yeah, they but, stay but, out of late on <laughs> Fridays. The, 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 um, the, the, the other part is this. Tyler Wilson is still a great quarterback. Auburn, like they showed against LSU, has gotten a lot better against the run, but they're still horrific against the pass. And then Arkansas's defense is terrible, but so is Auburn's offense. Yeah. So you, you, start, wash. you start thinking – you know, when you look at it that way, but of course I got to pick Auburn because my son's on the team. But sure, but I worry. I worry that if you're an Arkansas fan, this this may be the the perfect storm you're looking for to try to finally get a win. But I'm going to pick Auburn because I think Auburn is playing better. And something I think that Arkansas situation is so disturbing it may be impossible to overcome. Yeah, they they they're split now. Everybody's mad. You know how that works. Yeah. I'm, Guys, Bubba this, picks Auburn. This game, yeah. it, it it might end up being a, just a high-scoring game, but it might end up being a low-scoring game. Okay, yeah. buddy. Right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I want to clear that up. Boom. Uh, Boise mm -hmm. at Southern Miss. 
I, I, I really – I haven't followed either team this year, and I know we're only in Hattiesburg. I really haven't been keeping up what's going on either place. Well, Yay. I'm being Bubba. Bubba picked Southern Miss because Brett Favre played there. Okay. Guys, I just I think I think that the the Hattiesburg Mississippians will step up, and I just I see them end up beating the I see them beating the Boise State Seminoles, and it just it's gonna it's gonna get it's gonna be wild when it comes down to this game, and and I think someone will pull it out. Uh, Mississippi State, Kentucky, Mississippi State playing well. Kentucky, one of the worst uh, football teams they've had in my lifetime. I mean, they're just bad. I, I got guys. I gotta say the Mississippi, Mississippi State. State Mississippi, I think Kentucky used the last bit of the last bit of talent that they had against South Carolina Gamecocks in the first uh, first half, and I anticipate the Mississippi State the Bulldogs are gonna win this game by two thousand four hundred nineteen points. Uh, Virginia Tech. Okay. Virginia Tech. Bubba's gonna have to go Kentucky. <laughs> Any team with a coach named Joker. That's right. Uh, LSU, uh, Virginia Tech at North Carolina, Virginia Tech. Anybody disagree with that? Uh, LSU, Florida. Here's the big game. Let's get this one. This, is, this is a big one here, this guys. Is it. LSU, Bingo Tigers traveling down to the swampy. Guys, it's just it's gonna it's gonna be a crazy game with with the uh, with Les Miles versus Will Muschamp. And I'm I'm gonna say in the words of my buddy Bubba, I'm gonna say too much Muschamp. <laughs> okay. You're I'm gonna, gonna Florida. I'm gonna speedy? say I'm gonna say Florida Gators. Huh? LSU. Uh, Hams. I'm undecided right now. Greg. Florida. I really am. I, I I have no idea at this I point. I think I think that Florida has more. They have more weapons than LSU has in in their receiving core, and I think it will end up being it will end up being the difference. That Gillespie also in the backfield <laughs> right. coming out of there. I think he'll. <laughs> I think he's gonna do good. And and I I I just anticipate this will be a great this Saturday afternoon SEC matchup. But the the Gators will come out on top. And I'm going with LSU. I, I think I don't think Florida's quite where by thinks they are yet but in the swamp though that'd be tough but i mean and lsu's quarterback boy he cannot get out of trouble well and that defense and, and, and florida, florida, florida can put pressure on him yeah, they yeah. will too by yeah. the way but I, I like lsu with their ability to run football uh let's go to georgia south carolina that's the next big one georgia five versus six I I don't really I just I don't really know what's gonna happen in this game, but I do I do I will tell you that I used to coach there. I used to coach at the University of South Carolina. Now let me tell you something. They're gonna come out. They're gonna be ready to play. And they're gonna win this game against George Bulldogs. Huh? That's all that matters. Okay. All okay, right. buddy. I'm gonna go with Georgia in this game. I really I'm all. Yeah. I, this is the they almost had it in the first game. South Carolina just has a tendency mm-hmm. to choke when they're on a run, and uh, of course so does Georgia at times. But but there's something about South Carolina survived the first choke, which was Vanderbilt. They nearly blew that. Mm-hmm. And really, if they got if this that, that pass interference call was was the difference in the game. But uh, there's I just don't know that South Carolina can handle this much hype. Now Latimer is a is a game changer. Mm-hmm. When you got a great running back, man. Guys, but, I uh, don't but know. I, but I'm just got two or three. I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'm going to pick Georgia, even though we keep in mind they've got that receiver that's out now. He's gone. Bennett. Benetton, yeah, but yeah. I, let me tell you something. That's I don't know too. what's happened. I don't know what's been going on with with Steve Spur, but he it seems like they still don't have a legitimate quarterback at at the University of South Carolina, and that that's the only that's the only concern I have for the guys. Uh, uh, but I I think this is going. I tell you what, the SEC got two great matchups this weekend. This is going to be a fun day in college football. It is. Uh, well, the, <laughs> the other big matchup that is outside the SEC, you know, and, and those of you that get tired of us picking the SEC, well, if we can get them all out of the top ten, I guess we'll stop. But uh, the uh, the other big one was uh, West Virginia uh, taking on Texas, number eight versus number eleven. I like West Virginia in that game. West Virginia looks they're the real deal this year. I think I think everybody's gonna want to pick Texas because of just because of the name. But I'll tell you, I think the Mountaineers are gonna step up and win this game about eighty to seventy seven, and that's a real score. Yeah, thanks, you're right. There. Thanks thanks a lot. Good to talk to you, Lou. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.